Hey, good morning, everybody. Wondering what to make for dinner tonight? I have a really fun recipe. I think your family will love it. If you like cheeseburgers, you're going to love this. I'm going to show you how to make cheesy meatloaf, just something a little bit different. I start out with two pounds of ground beef, and then this is the really fun part of this recipe. We're actually using as a binder a cup of crushed cheese crackers, your favorite cheesy cracker of Cheez Its, uh, cheese nips, whatever. And it really is just something fun, something a little different in your meatloaf recipe. And then to that, we're going to make it extra cheesy. We also have two cups of shredded cheddar cheese that's going to go in this meatloaf. We've got two eggs. Just beat those up a little bit. I've got some ketchup that's going to actually go in the meatloaf and then a little bit of ketchup that's going to go on top of it. I'm going to sneak some vegetables into this meatloaf. Your kids won't notice if you finely dice them up. I've got a quarter cup of finely diced onion. Just a couple tablespoons because I like it. A little bit of finely diced green pepper. I like a little green pepper in my meatloaf. And then season it with some salt and pepper. When I was a kid, I just, you know, never appreciated meatloaf. And now that I'm all grown up, um, I absolutely love it. Now I've got some milk standing by here. We're going to start with a little bit. And if we need more, we'll add some more. And I really believe the best way to do meatloaf is really get in there with your hands. So I've got nice, clean hands. And I'm just going to get in there, get going on this. Yeah, when I was growing up, my grandmother lived with us, my great-grandmother, actually. And uh, she made a mean meatloaf, but I never really appreciated it. And now, let me tell you, I miss Nana's meatloaf. And I think she'd appreciate this meatloaf recipe. She made a real simple recipe, but I'm always looking to jazz things up. And I love cheese in my burger, so I came up with this one and thought, yeah, this is a winner. In fact, you can really tell I don't really need much more milk, just depending on how moist your beef is. Is you know, Start with a little milk, and then you can always add more. And I like to do milk in my, in my meatloaf. I just think it, um, instead of water, you could also do water. I just think it keeps it nice and moist. So just combine all those ingredients, and I know it's a, a, just a, a big mess that it's going to taste wonderful when it all bakes together. So I like to do it in just a, a nice meatloaf pan and just make a, a nice loaf. But you can just also do it on in a you know 9 by 13 pan or a bread pan. This makes one nice big meatloaf. So kind of shape it all together. And you'll make it more pretty than me because you'll have some more time to do this at home. Make sure and either line your pan with foil or spray it really well. So you don't have a sticky meatloaf mess. I'm going to go wash my hands real quick and then show you how we finish this baby. All right, so not only do we have the cheese in the meatloaf, I like to throw a little bit of ketchup, because I love ketchup on my burger and my meatloaf, on top, just spread it around. A little bit of dried parsley, because that's something my nan always did, a little bit of parsley on top of that meatloaf, make it look pretty. And this, at this point, goes into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 45 minutes, 45 to 50 minutes. Um, and then the last 20 minutes or so of baking, you're going to throw some extra cheese, shredded cheese, on top, and that's just going to melt down the top of it, and it's just going to be delicious. So let me show you how it looks when it all comes out. I'm drooling. I can hardly wait to have a piece. And this makes the best meatloaf sandwiches, by the way. So the leftovers are really yummy with that cheese in there. And I like to serve this with a nice big salad and uh, pick up if you don't have time to make some nice cheesy potatoes to round out this whole cheese party we're having here. Doesn't that look amazing? Recipes on our website. You can also pick this one up at any Festival Foods. Enjoy. I think you're going to like this one. We'll be right back. You're watching Good Day Wisconsin.